What's up guys? Happy Friday and welcome back to another Friday Faves and this week I do have two unfortunate nays. Hope you guys had a really awesome week and I have been like stressing because we will be leaving for Alaska tomorrow which is Saturday so I've been trying to film and edit and then schedule my videos and then on top of that packing which I'm like a horrible at packing because I tend to overpack but that's like a whole nother story. Let's go ahead and jump into my yays of the week. First yay of the week is going to have to go to my new edition for ink, which is of this tattoo right here. Let me zoom you guys in. So here's the new ink. I literally just had it done yesterday. Two of the heartbeat readings that you see on an EKG machine. And then it says, just live. And I absolutely love the placing of the tattoo. I have to thank Mark, his... Instagram name is Triga Mark. You guys need to go check him out. He's a really, really talented tattoo artist. That's actually my husband's uncle's wife's son. If you guys are interested in getting inked up and you guys are in the Hawaii area, I'm not exactly sure what area in Hawaii he lives. Go check out his Instagram. This is actually my fourth tattoo so um, I'm really really happy with this new addition I wanted something that was dainty and also feminine but I didn't want it to be like extremely big so I think like this is the perfect size I absolutely love it sorry I have my Erin Condren little band over it the day designer in conjunction with blue sky purchased this from Target I was out with Lexi Lexi love 518 or also known as Alexis Hassan here on YouTube. Hi Lexi if you're watching and we actually are twinning with the same exact planner because I know she loves the day designer. She has the thicker version. But here's the day designer and here's the Erin Condren. So it is a lot thinner than the Erin Condren. It's also just a tad bit smaller as well. It fits better in my purse and I also really like the layout of this. I'm able to like really write bigger and I love how it just has lines and this was really inexpensive too it was only $11.99 watching Belinda Belinda Celine here on YouTube I was watching one of her vlogs and she had this which is from Joanne Fabrics this is a jewelry holder she was saying it's perfect for your planner supplies so you know I just have my page flags and just some like post-its and some stickers and then back here just some of my uh, gel pens which everything just kind of all fits in here this foundation from the brand City Color Cosmetics. This is called the Flawless Finish 3-in-1 Primer Concealer Foundation. This is like a full coverage foundation which I am wearing today. This is after like a long work day. I just kind of touched up however with um, some powder. It doesn't have any SPF in it so which is great especially if you're going to be taking any flash photography because you won't get that flashback. This has a spatula dispenser which is pretty nice because I can just kind of put this right on the back of my hand. It really does last very well on my skin. It doesn't slide around and you guys know I have extremely oily skin. They are also a cruelty free brand which is another positive thing about this company top coat from the brand Essie and this is called the Essie gel setter top coat I purchased this because of my girl Lizzie what will Lizzie do hi Lizzie if you're watching she was saying how this works really well on her nails her nails her nail polish doesn't chip and it has a really nice shine to it which it really really does I've had on this nail polish now for almost a week it hasn't chipped it's still really shiny and you know I'm a really big fan of SC polishes and I really wanted to give this one a try. Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. This is the C Buckthorn Berry Scent. I've been telling you guys it's really difficult for me to find a good dry shampoo because a lot of the times a lot of dry shampoo they actually only last in my hair for a few hours. The maximum would be like five hours max but this one actually lasts the whole entire day. I also really like the fact how this is lightweight and it doesn't leave the white residue in your hair. I also have to give it another week to It Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Silk Press Finishing powder and I forgot to mention that this contains collagen, silk, peptides, and antioxidants. Like I said last week, this is definitely such a great translucent powder. It doesn't leave a white cast on your face. It just kind of airbrushes my whole entire face like I don't have any pores but you know I really have a whole bunch of like enlarged pores. I really really love this product and I think 
think I was even saying I love this even more than the loose powder version. I really love the pressed powder. It's definitely one of my favorites. And lastly for my yays, it's going to have to go to Life Soul. This is a mini Bluetooth speaker and it's also water resistant. It's super tiny. Let me show you guys a comparison between SC Polish. Really, really tiny. And the thing I love about this is that it has this little handle attachment. So you can take this out if you'd like. You can actually bring this into your shower and gotten some like water droplets inside the speaker and it's still working great. The cool thing about this is you press the middle button to turn it on and it will flash. So it will actually like keep flashing and then you can even change the song by just holding down this button. You don't even have to press it on your phone. You can just skip and also go back to the other song and also turn up the volume by holding down I believe the buttons right here which is really cool let me know if any of you guys do this in the shower I like to listen to YouTube videos say if I'm listening to somebody's vlog I'll bring this in the shower There's no way I would do that ever with my pink beats which are all the way back there so. as for my nays of the week first one is gonna have to go to this felt tip liner from the brand Aurora and this is called the intensively precise eyeliner it's supposed to be waterproof smudge proof alcohol free paraben free and also also perfume free. I had a really really terrible time trying to create a nice winged liner with this because I noticed that it really wasn't that pigmented. I don't know if mine just dried out so you guys can see like dried out but the thing was that I tried to go back with it and tried to intensify the color but I noticed once this thing kind of set and it set pretty quickly after a couple seconds when I would try to go back and draw over it it kind of even just erased some of the line that I already created and it just left like gaps which looked really bad it looked really streaky and then I had to go back and use my other trusty um, liner from Sila over it but because this was underneath it this thing like layered horribly on top of it so I really just did not like this product at all it was a really really big disappointment I've been testing it out for the past three weeks and it just does not work out for me. It's from the brand Jouer and this is the anti-blemish matte primer. It contains salicylic acid, acne treatment, non-drying, non-irritating pore refiner. It's oil-free, hyperallergenic, paraben-free, and also silicone-free. This does have lotion type of feel to it. This thing just did not make me look mad. It actually made me look extreme. Well, okay, let me, let me take that back. It actually made me very, very oily. I noticed after about three hours or so I really was very shiny in my t-zone area. I felt like it just did nothing for my pores. It kind of just absorbed into the skin and just didn't do anything at all. So that's everything I wanted to share with you guys for my yays and nays of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos. we will have videos for you guys to watch while I'm away in Alaska. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Snapchat number one because I will definitely be snapping away while we're in Alaska. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I recently also created an account with Periscope. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really awesome weekend. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.